Practice six. Now read the passage about system thinking. You have forty-five seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to a lecture on this topic in a psychology class. Okay, class. Today we'll be looking at system thinking. System thinking is a way to get the inside information that is linked and interactive as a whole. This is widely used because it claims that all human activity systems are open. Just the theory alone is rather difficult to understand. So let me give you an example to clarify this. I once worked for a corporation during my years in grad school to get some practical field work. While I was working for that company, I had many absences. No matter how hard I tried to avoid having another unexplained absence, I just couldn't help it. My bosses were starting to give me the eye when I returned the next day. My coworkers didn't appreciate my absences. I was miserable. Basically, it wasn't good. So after several incidents, the company finally decided to hire a consultant to access my problem. After my consultation, the result turned out different from what other people expected. My problem related to health. The result was that because I was stressed and lacking in nutrition, my ability to make judgments was rather weak. I was, of course, very shocked, and so was my boss. Once the company realized this problem, they provided me with a solution. The company gave me a membership at a gym so that I could do regular exercise, as well as providing me with nutritious food. After that, I never missed another day. The professor explained about system thinking by using his own example. What was his experience with system thinking, and how was it used in his situation? Please begin speaking after the beep. Sample answer. In the lecture, the professor explains about system thinking, which is a way to understand certain elements as a whole system. System thinking helps a person to see a clearer and more accurate picture of their reality, as well as helping him to see a wider perspective on it. The professor explains his own example of a situation of system thinking. He says he once worked for a corporation during grad school, but he kept having unexcused absences. After several incidents, the company decided to get an assessment of his problem. As it turned out, it was related to his stress and lack of nutrition. So, in order to solve this problem, the company gave him a membership at a gym and provided him with nutritious food. After that, he's never missed a day of work. Practice seven. Now read the passage about affiliation. You have forty-five seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to part of a lecture in a business class. Today, I'm going to talk about how many companies use affiliation as one of the ways to sell their products. Affiliation refers to people having a good personal or social relationship among themselves or with a group of companies. Many advertisement companies use this technique to show that the product that they are selling has a close connection with people and convince that their product is the way to go. There are two ways that the advertisement companies use affiliation in their techniques. Let me clarify this with the example of a soda company. In an advertisement for a soda company, two different ideas can be shown to send a message that their soda is the best. In one of the ads, people would have a good time at a party. While enjoying themselves, they would be holding drinks with a logo of the soda company. This method is to prove that consumers will definitely have a great time and will enjoy themselves when they drink that specific soda. Therefore, it shows a good relationship between people and the product. Another method of affiliation is the portrayal of what would happen when people use different products. For example, in one soda advertisement, people's reactions to opening a different soda are shown. At a baseball game. Everyone is drinking the same kind of bottled soda, but one person takes out a different bottle, one that is different from everyone else's. This brings a shock to everyone at the game and creates an awkward moment, which makes everyone avoid that person. Using points and examples from the lecture, explain the two methods used in affiliation. Please begin speaking after the beep. Sample answer. 
In the lecture, the professor explains about affiliation that is used by many advertisement companies to show certain relationships between the consumer and the product. There are two different methods of using this technique, portraying people having a close connection with the product and showing negative effects when using a different product. The professor uses advertisements for a soda company as examples. One of the commercials showed people having a fabulous time at a party by holding on to the bottles of the soda that the company was selling. This made a statement that if people drink this specific soda, they will be guaranteed a good time. Another commercial showed a person drinking something different from everyone else at a baseball game. This commercial captured the reaction of the people when one person is opening a bottle of a different drink. And this technique was used to show what would happen if one does not drink the soda of this advertisement. Practice 8. Now read the passage about climate change. You have 45 seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to part of a lecture in a meteorology class. Yesterday, we looked at global warming and how it causes all sorts of natural disasters, such as El Nino and tsunamis. In continuation of yesterday's discussion, I want to talk about climate change. The Earth's climate has warmed and cooled for millions of years since long before we appeared on the scene, and animals that had long existed then suffered greatly and became extinct. I'm going to explain about an animal that was one of them, a thunderbird. Many of the archaeologists have found enormous amounts of fossils of thunderbirds by one river in Ohio State in the U.S. It is interesting to note that the fossils were all nearby the river rather than existing on land. The archaeologists concluded that this related to the climate change because as the temperature rose over time, there had been a drought due to lack of rain. Because the earth was dry, these birds had flown over to the lake or the river to stay cool and for some water. However, this didn't last because the water, too, had dried up in the end. As a result, the birds that had all gathered by the water got dehydrated and died all at once. With all the birds dying at once near the water, the fossils of these birds are all that is left of the thunderbirds. Using points and examples from the lecture, explain how the climate change caused thunderbirds to die near the river. Please begin speaking after the beep. Sample answer. In the lecture, the professor explains about climate change and how it affected the Thunderbirds. Climate change refers to the variation in the global climate or regional climate over time, and it describes changes in the variability or average state of the atmosphere. This climate change can cause natural disasters like drought, disease, flood, and more when the temperature is high and affects all the living things. The professor offers the Thunderbird as an example of this. She says archaeologists have found Thunderbird fossils by a river in Ohio, not on land. Archaeologists suspect that the reason for their deaths nearby the river is drought caused by climate change. They believe that when the earth dried up, the birds flew to the river to cool down, but didn't last long when the water dried up. Thus, the Thunderbirds died of dehydration.